What's up everyone, it's your girl Melly. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Queensboro. I'm not gonna lie, I sat down and I was all ready, you know, to film this video and um, I look at myself and all my hair is so crazy that I had to go put like agua in it because I'm like, dude, they're not even gonna listen to a word I'm saying because they're gonna look at todo el greñero que tengo and it's not gonna be good, so um, I didn't realize it was that bad and I don't know if this camera is just super good because I'm using a different camera um, this time, but it was pretty bad. So anyways, I put some agua. You're welcome. You don't have to look at me looking all crazy. Um, and so I wanted to talk about Queensboro, which is an embroidery company and they also do screen printing. They do, um, I think screen printing is just on t-shirts and probably like on certain items that are um, cloth. The embroidery they can do on um, t-shirts, they can do on um, hats as well. And the cool thing about them is that you don't have to pay a setup fee um, or you don't have to have, um, you don't have to have a certain amount that you buy. In some places, you know, just to set up your logo or whatever you want to put on your shirt, it's like 50 bucks. So, and then they charge you per stitch. So in this case, um, the shirt that I got, uh, was I think it was like ten dollars and then um yeah I think it actually ended up being like ten dollars because it was six dollars the shirt was six dollars and that includes their embroidery and then with the shipping and stuff it was like it ended up being ten dollars and one of my co-workers also got a shirt and hers was fifteen dollars but mine is just a basic t-shirt um hers was like a v-neck and a different material so it was just a little bit more expensive so this is the shirt that I got. Um, it's um, from Gildan, which is pretty um, basic when it comes to um, embroidery, shirts that are embroidered or screen printed on. And um, I ended up getting this cute little logo that says Queen. And I didn't wanna put um, my employer's logo on it. So I ended up finding this online and then I just submitted it. And it actually looks really good, if I'm honest. Um, you can check that out. And hers looks um, good as well. Like the lettering, um, the stitching was good. And so it's just, you know, with embroidery that they have to add this little like patch in the back. Um, so I like the shirt. The material is good. Um, I don't know. Creo que me creo muy flaca because I got a small and it fit a little bit tight. So I think next time I have to get, um, a medium but of course that's not their fault I didn't even check like the sizing on their shirts I just figured oh I'll wear a small but um so yeah it was a, just a, it wasn't tight but I like my stuff loose so um that's just for me hers I don't know if she actually tried it on um but it looked like it fit and so overall I would definitely buy from them again um the only thing so here's the catch because I had looked at their stuff and I'm like that's a really good deal like some of these shirts are super cheap to get them embroidered um and like I said I have already looked at like companies that are around the area and for like in one place they charged me um and this was for a work thing I think it was like $30 so it was like $30 per shirt and it was three shirts that we got and it ended up being like $90 and that is crazy. Like, I under I understand, you know, they have to make their money and all these things. But it was a lot, especially when you can get it for cheaper. So, um, the catch was, like I said, going back to that, the catch was that they um, took really, really long to get the item. So, we ordered at the beginning of July. And when you go through the process, they ask you for, like, a uh, desired delivery date from the and they give you a certain date so ours was um we can get it from like the 27th as soon as the 27th but I chose to do the 29th because I was going to go on vacation so I chose the 29th and you know I had forgotten about them because I went on vacation it wasn't you know on the top of my mind closer to the end of the month I actually ended up um remembering and I looked it up and I'm like they were supposed to you know send me something so I tracked it and then it said that it was going to be delivered until August 1st. Um, 
August 1st came around and it said like, oh, we have to adjust your date again. So we didn't end up getting them until August 9th. And so that is, it was like a tiny bit over a month, but that is a really, really long time to wait. So good price, good quality. Um, with shipping, you know, if you don't have the time to wait for it, then this is probably not the place um, to use. But if you do, if you already know, you know, you have an event coming up or um, you're just starting your business and you need shirts, like this is a really good place because you don't have to order a certain quantity and the price that the item is, that's what it's going to be. If you guys have any questions, comment them below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.